Hello, my name's Stuart. I've got pancreatic cancer and welcome to Shielding Day 30, 40, 53, I think. How am I coping with it? Mm, well, I'm very, very lucky because I've got a big house, which means that I can stay segregated in one part of it while my lovely wife and 19-year-old daughter inhabit the other half. They go out occasionally to um, do the essential shops and things, so it's thought better that we just maintain our distance, two metres distance. And that's the biggest problem I'm having with um, with this shielding, um, the lack of personal contact, not being able to have a hug or a, get close to anybody, sit next to people for meals. Um, I'm feeling rather uh, isolated um, in my own home, all those still surrounded by love, which is a strange feeling for me. I'm lucky though, as I said before, large house, I've got a big room, two rooms to myself and a bathroom. And all the boys' toys a boy could want, really. Um, and yet, as I say, there's something missing. How do I cope with it? Well, we text, believe it or not, we text and chat. Even though we're only a couple of rooms away from each other and uh, occasionally we'll sort of see each other passing in the corridor, as it were, like ships in the night. But that's the biggest difficulty I'm having. Um, it was a bit of a shock to receive the letter because I think I kind of regarded myself as a tiny bit invincible. And this made me realise that I was anything but. Um, having said that, neighbours, friends, everyone has rallied round. I live in a very small village community and they've all been absolutely great. In terms of affecting my treatment, um, I've given a lot of thought to whether or not to go ahead with my next dose of palliative chemotherapy. Palliative because there's nothing more they can do to cure me, but they can extend my life. And so I've been balancing up the risks of catching this wretched virus when I go to the hospital, which is a, a COVID a hot zone, um, against the extra months of life that the chemo will give me. And I've decided to go for the chemo, taking some sensible precautions like an industrial respirator, which makes me look like Darth Vader, but I really don't care what I look so long as I can get the chemotherapy. So I've moved from the study to the bedroom just to show you I'm not hard done by at all. One of the coping mechanisms I've found really helpful is not just to text or to Facebook or to WhatsApp people, but actually give them a ring. Strange that these phones we have are actually meant for talking to, but I've reconnected with lots of old friends who I'd uh, sort of drifted apart from and we've had fantastic chats and that really has helped keep my spirits up. And this is as close as I get to my lovely wife, Judy, who is, to coin a cliche, my rock. I don't know what I would do without her. And that's the 19 year old who I have to stay two metres away from. Although the other two in the picture are a, a lifesaver. They're go-betweens between the ones that are self-isolating for the good of the dad and dad himself. This is Alfie, without whom I'd be completely insane by now. And that's Maya, who helps keep insanity at bay in her own little way. Another thing I try and do every day is set myself a goal, something maybe insignificant like tidying out a drawer or writing an email that I put off forever and ever. And having achieved that at the end of the day, at least you can say, well, you've done something. Thanks for watching. I hope it's been of some use. I would say though, that the most important resource um, for me has always been Pancreatic Cancer UK and especially the nurses on the hotline there. If they don't know the answer to the question you ask about pancreatic cancer, then very probably nobody will. So give them a ring, whether you're feeling down, whether you're concerned about your treatment, whatever it is, they'll be able to help. And if there's anything I can do, then just get in touch with me through Pancreatic Cancer UK. Stay safe.